2011 model A1297 17 uh, inch MacBook Pro. Uh, I want to do the GPU bypass with native uh, brightness control on this one too. Uh, I did a 15 uh, inch on my other video and uh, some people asked about 17. It, you know, uh, it should work. So uh, let's see if it will work. And the, yeah, this one is, uh, you know, as you can see, this is a GPU problem. It just hangs on, the, on that white screen after the app logo and then it just shuts down. So uh, yeah, this is the, the only proper way to get them working again is to disable that GPU. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, uh, make, uh, make some digging into the PCH. On this 17 inch, I'm going to be doing things a little bit differently. I'm going to be using the fine wire 0.02 millimeter uh, that is not insulated and I'm going to be using uh, 0 0.1 uh, insulated wire so the way I'm going to be performing this is uh, the fine wire 0 0.02 millimeter is going to be coming from our contact on the PCH to my, my, my interconnection point right here and from that interconnection point uh the thicker wire the one that has insulation this one this wire will be going all the way it's actually on this side of the board it's going to be going to this pin right here as far as i remember right here this resistor so it's it's the same the same connection point right here so we don't have to run the wire on our side of the board and actually on 2015 uh as was pointed to me by uh, another guy on YouTube, there is a test point on this side of the board, pretty close to PCH, so you don't even have to run the wire on that side of the board. Uh, you know, I, 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 I added that into the description. So it's it, everything is going on 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 the underside of the board because uh, you know the top portion of the board, so you will never be able to see any wires so on 17 and 15 if you're doing this kind of repair. So this is pretty cool. Uh, but uh, this that I just wanted to uh, talk about this interconnection point where I got it from, and this is this is my my donor for that. I just hit up with the air uh, air hot air right here, and they just like kind of pop up real easy, and glue, and I just disconnect it and wiggle it. So this is what I'm using the old uh, memory. And it should work pretty fine. And this, I put it on the super glue right there. So I just wanted to show again the location of that uh, microvia on the PCH. You need to dig for. I uh, I did not dig yet, but I just uh, marked it. Uh, let me show under the microscope. I hope you can see. So this is the. This is the one right there under so yeah, I have to dig for it and um, and the reason I um, I'll be using this uh, finer wire actually because it's it, it is easier to work with uh, it will be easier to solder that wire to that uh, little pin there so that's why I wanted to do this you know this repair this way so I'm just trying to make it easier for me so um, going forward okay so uh, please note the location of uh, the microvia there uh, it's right below the capacitor and uh, right on the path of that green line that goes uh, uh, from the corner there i hope you can see that the green line there so but uh, that's the location of this microvia and i got uh, I got it pretty pretty good this time. I did not touch anything around it, so just uh, just the microbe is exposed. So we'll be soldering it. Alright, so this is how uh, our main 
in connection looks like. The uh, microvia to the interconnection uh, point there. This is the 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 hardest part of the job actually. But uh, using this uh, tiny uh, 0 0.02 millimeter wire definitely did make a, a huge difference. The one on 15 inch I was using the, the thicker wire. It was harder to solder to that microbia there but this one you know it was definitely easier and faster so this is 100% way to go so all i need to do is uh run uh, I'm, I'm gonna cover it in uh, in some more uv mask to cover you know to make sure it's not moving there because i already covered uh, the uh, exposed uh, ground exposed ground uh, near the microbia there in UV mask and uh, my interconnection point, make sure it's all tight, you know, you covered with UV mask too. So uh, what I need to do is uh, cover it uh, a little more. So it's all solid there, it's not moving. And just run another wire from the interconnection point to the, to our contact we need. And uh, flash it and we should be back in business. So uh, going forward. The hard part is done, basically. So we had our wire coming from the interconnection contact there all the way to the proper pin on, uh, on our logic board. And uh, I covered this wire so it's, you know, so it is sitting in place nice and tight. And this is the what I was using over coat pen and uh, if you have this actually I what, what I just realized then uh, it seems like it dried out you know nothing is coming out out of the tip basically just uh, put a little bit of alcohol on that tip and it is back to business as good as new so uh, and I covered uh, our interconnection board there, inter interconnection contact with uh, some UV mask. So uh, the only stuff we'll have to do is flash it with the proper firmware. All right. Connection is done to the programmer. And we have our file. This is the proper file power management and um, let's see and try to flash it I think it's not gonna go through like on 15 inch water okay it went through actually without removing the L2406 I believe that's the one that needs to be removed if uh, if the flash does not go through so uh, this was a successful flash so uh, the only thing left to do is to put it back in the enclosure, put the laptop back together and see if this is a success. The only thing I'm worried about is the blue tint on some of these uh, firmwares. There's the blue tint on 17 inch model screen, but uh, we'll see in a little bit. Turn it on basically, had to test it, couldn't wait. And um, good news and bad news. Uh, let me show you This has blue tint That's the thing I was actually afraid of on 17 inch model on 15 inch model You can see see the blue tint on 15 inch model. This firmware works perfectly fine on 17 inch It gives the blue tint As you can see the you can see that it's working. The brightness control works perfectly fine on it, as you can see. That part is awesome. The blue tint we need to take care of. And just wanna show you that uh, this is the, okay, it's 2.0, it's 2.2. I thought it's 2.3 actually. Well, anyway, 
and this is the graphic display and this is that's what we have left the hd the intel hd the, the md one is gone so uh, let me work on the blue team problem because there are some couple of resistors i think i can uh, replace with zero ohm resistors or maybe just bridge you know remove those resistors that are already there and uh, yeah i'll just you know we'll see I, I, there's a couple things I, I, I can try because uh, other than this blue tint this is perfect so far so let's see if I can get it going properly a quick workaround I'm trying right now uh, two resistors near the GMAX R9240 and R9242 have to be replaced with zero ohm resistors so i'm just trying the jumpers for now we'll see you know if it's gonna uh, make any difference and i'm reporting a total success on this one those two resistors made a difference in the blue tint actually those are not actually resistors at this point those are just the jumpers but uh, i'm planning to actually use zero arm resistors and uh, the blue tint as you can see is gone and we have a total success on this 17 17 inch 2011 macbook pro here we go it might look like a little blue tint but it, it's not it's actually it's just the color so uh, you see you have a brightness control it's it is working it's the same it's hard to see but it is totally working and let me open up the display here we go it's all in full brightness right now I'll just close it, open up, you see it moving. A lot of brightness. This is awesome. Thank you very much for watching. If you learned something and if you need this repair done, I'm located in uh, Northport, Florida. So uh, please feel free to contact me. I'll do it for you. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, if you learned something from the, this video, please consider subscribing. Thank you very much. Bye.